welcome to Come and See, your podcast for finding truth in a world of chaos. Brought to you by All for Jesus Living Waters Ministry. With host and founder, Richard Case, and co-host and retreat leader, Kathy Riccone. Join us every weekday at this time to discuss news, spend time in the Word, and receive answers to your personal questions about living life in God's truth. And now your host, Richard Case. Well, good morning, Kathy. Uh, here we are. Uh, good morning. We had, <laughs> we had a little uh, technical <laughs> issue. Uh, I'm recording remotely and we had a little technical thing. You and I had a great discussion about driving fast cars. <laughs> we did. It was a fun conversation. No one will get fun, to hear it. <laughs> fun conversation. Uh, so we, uh, 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 we, we, I like driving fast and it has had a great uh, story about all that, but, uh, uh, because time is, uh, of the essence, we'll, uh, Go ahead and, and uh, get active here and get going. So, uh, Kathy, uh, why don't we start? We're, we're talking about the covenant. Mm -hmm. And particularly in, uh, we've labeled this little mini uh, part of it uh, as overcoming discouragement. Uh, and <laughs> it's easy to be discouraged. Right. Uh, because of the world, which is which is going crazier and crazier, nuttier and nuttier. And, uh the impact it's having on us personally, uh, just generically, is I wonder what's going to happen. I mean that, right. that and, and we're in a, we're in an area where we don't know mm -hmm. really how this is going to impact the world now. And and like for example, um, you know, Russia's come across uh, against Ukraine. In the past, uh, it was kind of like, well, there's a war and it's going to happen, and and they go on. But uh, in this case because they've discovered the power of economics is uh, a lot of people have stopped their uh, activity in Russia. Right. Uh, including, and this is something we'll talk about on End Times Friday actually, is uh, they stopped the credit card processing. Yeah, uh, which is leading some interesting yeah. things open now. Yeah, yeah. and what is interesting enough, they uh, Russia and China have lined up to do that processing independent of the American system. Mm -hmm. So while they quote are punishing them in the short term, long term, it actually mm -hmm. is moving. And by the way, um, uh, one thing is pretty, it is pretty clear out of scripture that uh, China and Russia are Gog and Magog. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Hey, guess what? That's, that's getting formed up. I mean, so it's yeah. really interesting. So the implications of it is, you know, how's that going to impact us? And it's very easy to get discouraged. Um, and what we're trying to say in the covenant is that uh, doesn't surprise God. Right. He understands the world is uh, at work, which remember Jesus told us in the world, you're going to have great distress. And, and by the way, the word there is tremendous pressure, uh, feeling uh, overwhelmed by the things of life, which because which of, I think people can relate to right now, which they can relate to and that it's not, it's just not easy mm -hmm. uh, that, well, we can just go about our normal living and won't that be nice right now? Everybody is concerned. Well, what's going to happen mm -hmm. uh, economically, politically, uh, geographically, uh, all of these things. So the world is very per se, a very discouraging place. Uh, and so, the question is, well, does that mean our life is no longer going to be in a favored position, but rather we're going to suffer out of that? And the answer is yes and yes. <laughs> and right. <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to suffer mm -hmm. the trouble. Uh, we're not exempt from the trouble. Jesus doesn't remove the trouble. Matter of fact, in John 17, where he prays to the Father, he says, I'm sending you into the trouble. Right. Uh, to sending show. you like, yeah, like yeah. lambs into... In, uh, into the in, wolves or that's something it. like yeah. that, right? <laughs> uh, in, 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 into the world that, that is a tough place. He said, so, but I want to demonstrate, God speaking, my glory. And, and as you think about mm -hmm. that, how would that happen? Well, covenant, in the middle of all that, right? God can still deliver blessing to be made a blessing. And you can invite people to, and you read it uh, uh, yesterday and I, or two days ago in Isaiah 61, that that's what Jesus came to do. 
is yes. to restore life to us. And he said, it's not dependent on this on terrible, what's going around this us, terrible yeah. world. I will do that all the time, every time. Uh, and don't get discouraged. Yes, you will experience trouble. Mm-hmm. Yes, you'll go through transition. Yes, it'll, it won't happen overnight that I'm going to deliver a covenant to you, but I am going to. Right. Uh, and that's why we can have hope yeah. is, okay, I have trouble. I have distress. Things aren't working. Uh, Father, uh, what, how are you going to lead me to a resolution? We've talked about uh, the benefits, uh, one of which we've said is uh, protection, uh, ability to uh, uh, deliver us from the trouble, uh, to get us through the trouble. This last one we've talked about, his goodness. Uh, that is that uh, he said, if you fear me uh, and walk with me, is that I'll show you the way to go. Uh, I will lead you to what the word there says, prosperity. And, and what it means is uh, I'll give you freedom of all things in life, including financial. Uh, mm-hmm. doesn't mean wealth. It just means that you will be pros- The word prosperous in the Bible is uh, you just have joy in life. Right. Uh, I can bring you joy. Uh, in the middle of trouble, by and the way. And it's that abundant life, yeah. Yeah, the abundant life, uh, which includes provision. You know, so mm-hmm. uh, he doesn't want us to worry about money. He just doesn't want us to chase it. Remember, he said you cannot right. serve. You cannot serve what? God Two and masters, money you've at, got at to the same time. Answer, yeah. He said, so you can't do that. Uh, so let me give it to you. Seek you first the kingdom. Uh, and then um, he says, I'll tell you secrets, which we're going to mm-hmm. know. We, we need to know those because right. this, is, this is too tricky for us. So. Yes. Uh, we got to know that. And then uh, he said, I'll show you, reveal to you the covenant. Uh, well, he goes on to uh, help us understand more of the goodness. So if you would read uh, Psalm 85, uh, 10 through 13, Psalm 85, 10 through 13. Steadfast love and faithfulness meet. Righteousness and peace kiss, kiss each other. Faithfulness springs up from the ground and righteousness looks down from the sky. Yes, the Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and make his footsteps away. Yeah. Uh, So uh, he says, God will good, will give what Mm -hmm. is what? What is good? What is good? Yeah. God will give what is good. Uh, Not might give. No, and not, not only to some. <laughs> maybe, perhaps, if mm-hmm. everything is good around, I can give right. good. I can help you uh, achieve good if there's good things. He says, I'll just give you the good. Mm-hmm. Um, and the word there is excellent, superb, valuable, supernatural, miraculous, mm. the very, 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 very best. Mm. Um, I'm going to give you that. And he said, that's a promise. Right. Uh, and he says that uh, righteousness and truth uh, and majesty, they all meet together. Uh, mm-hmm. And remember, righteousness is who? <clears throat> Him, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, uh, remember, uh, and, and then he goes on to say, it's not you acting righteous. Uh, and, he, and Paul describes this in Ephesians really well as you put on the new man, you put on the clothing of righteousness because you step into his covering, which is him. Right. And, and we and we have him within us and we live in him and he lives in us. So uh, righteousness is, it says, let me deliver to you righteousness, which is me. By the way, you got to stay with me and let me let you experience that. Truth, I'm going to lead you into truth. So he, again, he doesn't have us deny it. He doesn't say, well, just ignore it. I said, no, understand it. You got to understand what's happening. You got to see, see what's going on. But let me guide you now into the beauty of goodness, which by the way, and this is cool. It says, I will give it to you. <laughs> uh, right. In other words, you can't go get it. You can't you, go get it. Exactly. You, you can't maneuver it. You can't just do things better. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it's going to be delivered to you. And honestly, isn't that freeing? I mean, yeah. just that statement right there, it's so much freedom in that. Just stay with him, take him by the hands, stay yeah. with him in his kingdom, and he delivers it. Yeah, and think about, uh, you know, when you say that, why is it freeing? When you say, yeah, isn't that freeing? Why is that so? 
because so often we sit and think we've got to do it and we feel the full weight of the responsibility that was never ours to own, right. you know, rather than simply walking hand in hand, lockstep with him, with where he leads and knowing he's delivering as we go. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when you think about it in a real simple way, um, if we were going to try to achieve it on our own, mm-hmm. see, because of our limitation we would then have to just maneuver better in a natural place, by the way, which is really awful. Uh, we got to figure that out and maybe we can achieve something, maybe not. But when God says it, right, he's not limited. <laughs> right. Well, and the maybe we can achieve something, maybe not. You know, we look back at this verse, whatever we achieve on our own doesn't have real fruit that lasts. That's right. Period. That's I mean, right. So why would we want to do our own? <laughs> yeah. Apart from me, uh, you can do nothing, nothing to, yeah. and not achieve anything in a difficult world. And by the way, even if you have a momentary, hey, look at what I did, mm-hmm. uh, it's not going to last. And not you're going to go, go, you're going to go back under that pressure mm-hmm. of the world. And God says, well, let me deliver to you the good all the time in right. the middle, middle of the trouble. Uh, and I'm not, a, I'm not taking you out of the trouble. I'm going to deliver the good in the trouble, mm-hmm. uh, and I can resolve it. Uh, okay. Go to, uh, uh, Proverbs 10, 22. Yeah. Got that one or do we I do, do the, my, okay. nope, I've got 10, 10, 20. Oh, I have 10, 20. Hang on. I will yeah. fix that. Proverbs 10, 22. Got it. There we go. Um, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Yeah. Now this is, hmm. <laughs> this is a really cool thing. Uh, again, the, uh, the word there for rich uh, is, is to be enriched mm-hmm. with all the, all the beauty of the life of God. So we remember, and I want everybody to keep thinking this way, expand your uh, view understanding of what we call success, prosperity, uh, goodness. Right. Uh, it's not limited to just more money. Right. Um, it's, it's all the enriching pieces of life of financial freedom. Uh, so he does want to be our provider and give us financial freedom, which by the way, uh, has some things that we are called to do in that one is tithe. There's stewardship in that. Yeah, stewardship is, is trust him, uh, save. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said the wisest animal on earth is an ant. Uh, mm-hmm. He said because it saves up for the for winter when during the summer. So right, uh, save up, have have safety so that uh, you have it. Don't get into debt. Don't use credit cards uh, uh, where you get more than you using it just for your uh, weekly or normal monthly transactions, but you pay them off every month. Uh, so he says, don't, don't burden yourself because there's, there are truths mm-hmm. for me to bless you. And if you ignore those and be, and be a simple thing, let me just tell you a simple thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, what does God say about our body? He says, I'd like you to be a good steward of your body. Yes. Um, it's his temple. <laughs> and, I, and I will, I will give you health. Okay. Well, if you say it doesn't matter and mm-hmm. I just, I just overeat Mm-hmm. And I don't care. Well, you're going to gain weight, and it's going to be unhealthy. And people who are who are and there are over, ramifications from and that. ramifications, yeah, yeah. heart issues, etc. Now I understand, and I, I and I'm one of them. Is uh, yeah, that's easy for people who are skinny because <laughs> <laughs> um, there there is metabolism. There's all kinds of you know physical mm-hmm. things that contribute to very very difficulty in overcoming uh, weight issues. Uh, but it's no other, like any other issue is that you can say, well, I have a heart to go with God. He says, let me bring you goodness by leading you into ways that you can, uh, enjoy, enjoy life with all, all aspects of it. So, right. Including health. Yeah. (laughs) Including health and finances and, uh, but it's relationship. It's, uh, not living in anxiety and fear. Like we were just talking Mm -hmm. about a lot of people are, are greatly discouraged right now. Well, let me give you, he says, uh, goodness, which is going to release you from the fear because you know what? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to be given the covenant. Right. So while I'm in the middle of this trouble, 
I don't need to stay here. I'm going to go forward into, well, God, you show me the way um, to have me uh, lead it. And he, and he says, uh, and this is really cool. He says, now I'm going to give it to you. And by the way, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to add sorrow to it. Uh, okay, when he says that, what does that come to mind for you? I'm not going to add any sorrow to, to what I give you. I think a lot of times we, even when something good happens, we expect like, where's the, where's the punch coming? I'm something else is coming on the heels. And, and so I think this does speak against that as well. His heart for us is good. It's best, none better. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the word there is I'm not going to add or say, well, that's just temporary. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, I'm going to abandon you and wind up giving you sorrow, pain. It says uh, the word there is pain, hurt, trouble. Uh, he says, what I'm trying to do is to keep you, uh, living in a beautiful way so that when trouble comes one, it's not from me, right? God speaking. And then two is I can resolve this one too. So in other words, in other words, um, don't think that I'm bringing sorrow to teach you something. Believe me, there's plenty of sorrow in the world. He said, because of the trouble you're going to have, there'll be plenty, plenty of opportunity to teach you. Don't worry. Uh, but I'm not going to add to it. And what I want to do oh, is, keep, good. Is, is keep having you experience the covenant. Because as you experience the covenant and you have trouble, what, what then do you do? Okay, I, I have experienced the covenant. I'm starting to uh, really enjoy that. And then I got trouble. What do you do? Well, we should turn and go right yeah. back to him and ask him what he has to say. Yeah, because why? See, That's because, our privilege. Well, well, I've experienced that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to now expect, know, believe, well, how are you going to handle this one? Um, uh, this ought to be interesting. But you don't go into toil or trouble or sorrow like, uh uh-oh, yeah, I had some nice blessing there, but I bet this one ain't going to work. No, God says it's going to work. You don't need to, in other words, you don't need to say sorrowful ever because you can trust me and I'm going to guide you. What you're saying right now, there are a whole group of people that... I I can guarantee you're listening right now and saying, that's great if you're a cup half full kind of person, but how I grew up, I'm a cup half empty. Yes. And I'm, and this is, that is my go-to is to see that I'm a realist. I'm, you know, all of these things I am, I am, I am. Um, And because I'm so the rose colored glasses, I, (laughs) I sometimes will rub those people the wrong way even, but um I think it's important to to just highlight that a little bit that he is in the middle of all of it. And just so how do you, you know, speak to those people for a minute that feel like this is just who I am. It's how I've why how I'm yeah. wired. My entire being is to respond looking for the negative and being the pragmatist and being the realist. And that's what I know. Yet what I'm hearing in that word is actually that is not what God has for them. So right. how do they begin to rewire that and to trust him? him and to look at his face in the midst of it rather than looking at the circumstance. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's go to uh, Psalm 103 and I'll read this. Um, I love and this then, passage. And, <laughs> and then we can, uh, we can unpack this a little bit because this is important uh, what you're yeah. raising up. Um, uh, so Psalm 103 says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that was within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Right. Okay. Now, uh, he's saying this, remember this is a David, Mm -hmm. David is speaking there. There's benefits, (laughs) right. Uh, to knowing God and they're, and they're related to the covenant. Um, Mm -hmm. and he says, now let me, let me, uh, he see, list them. He says, don't even list them. Yeah. Don't forget. It's beautiful. Uh, he says, first of all, who forgives all your iniquities. Mm -hmm. Uh, and remember, we've we've taught through and, and learned about there is no now no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. Even when we've walked away, he says, well, the remedy is why don't you just repent? Come on back. Right. I'm going to grab your hand and say, uh, welcome back. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, why? Well, because I've forgiven 
your your iniquity as member is walking away from him self right so he says i'm going to forgive that all mm-hmm. you got to do is come back and experience it and i welcome back in the next one and this is uh this is a tough one who oh, heal yeah. heals all your diseases right okay now believers the first one okay i i can see he forgave me mm-hmm. healing all my diseases i don't buy that right uh and it's maybe not. that's not what we've experienced. And so there is a dissonance in what we're reading and what he's saying here. Right, right. Now, now, by the way, and this is, uh, this, <laughs> it's kind of funny in a way. Um, are we all going to die? Yes. Yes. Well, ultimately, he doesn't heal all diseases because <laughs> mm-hmm. it's time to go, you know. So there'll be a moment when, well, no, I'm not going to heal. I'm taking you home. Uh, right. That's true. But in the meantime, he says, I heal all the diseases. Uh, and I, and when the word healing there is, I'm going to bring you to a place of restoration that mm-hmm. you'll be able to enjoy life. And and again, as I've learned it, uh, and sometime we could maybe have a discussion about this, because I was highly super skeptical right. of healing. And I kind of thought this verse doesn't even make sense. Right. Uh, and God says, well, you want to come and learn of it? You know, and, and I do. And mm-hmm. so when, when people are sick and have trouble and physical things, uh, I say, I understand. Uh, by the way, part of the world uh, where we have sickness, disease, uh, uh, all this. But God can guide you through to a place where you can en- still enjoy life if you have a heart to go. And, and right. by the way, he, inclu- he uses doctors and he uses medicine. And mm-hmm. uh, so, uh, but he says, I will do that. Uh, the next thing, and this is it. He says, uh, I'm going to redeem your life from destruction. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, the word there is the pattern that you've drifted into throughout your life. However, it occurred usually, by the way, the way we were raised. Right. Uh, so you said a glass half empty. Mm -hmm. Uh, pessimistic, uh, things aren't going to work. Yeah, but, uh, and lots of people have that pattern, uh, but they also have patterns of, uh, anger, Mm -hmm. uh, worry, fear, uh, uh, go into, uh, uh, addiction, alcohol, drugs, pornography. Mm -hmm. Um, we get to a place of this causes me to go to, uh, a place of great panic. We we did a series Mm on uh, overcoming worry, fear, and anxiety. And we talked about anxiety could even be attacking, attacking. And a panic attack. Panic attack is I go to, I got to freeze up. Uh, Well, Mm -hmm. I got a pattern. Well, what God says is that I will um, uh, redeem you. And the word there is restore you from that destructive pattern. Right. So that when somebody is saying, well, I've lived, a life of half full Mm -hmm. and everything that I see, I always go to this ain't going to work and I can see how problematic this is going to be. And God isn't saying, well, good luck with that. (laughs) Right. Uh, He's saying, I'll walk you to that. Yeah. I'll walk you to. He's saying that as, and to see, this is cool. How, how abiding works is that uh, he brings that to the surface Mm -hmm. and you say, you know, that's how my pattern is. I have a pattern of destruction. Right. Now, the key is this. Don't try to solve it yourself. Mm-hmm. Because if you do, what actually happens? I actually you end make up it, feeling defeated. Yeah. And you don't, I, you don't get anywhere. I make it worse. And I just mm-hmm. conclude, and you even said it when you introduced this. Well, that's who I am. Right. Um, right. And I can't, there's nothing about it. Well, God says, I understand. Uh, I don't want you to solve it. You can't mm-hmm. solve it. What I would like you to do is come and walk with me. Yeah. And that while, and this is this is what we're going to try to help people understand. This is part of the covenant. Right. Is uh, it's not just the end result. It's uh, let me heal you, mm-hmm. restore you, take that pattern and move it, flip it so that you begin to have hope normally. Because you trust me. See, it's about a transformation process. Right. right. Uh, and then, by the way, I got to go deal with the truth. I got to go process that. Uh, I've got And by to... the way, part of that is also a focus not on who I think I am, but a focus on who God is. 
and who yeah. God says he is. That is part of that digging you're out, digging out of that pit of destruction, really. Yeah. yeah. And what is what does God say? He says, I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I understand it. it could be even severe. Yeah. It could be you're super pessimistic. Uh the the magnitude of it doesn't doesn't have any bearing on his ability to heal it at all. Exactly. Uh he just says, Come with me. Um, and now I'm going to give you an uh, opportunity to abide with me and let my power, this is the power of transformation. Mm-hmm. My spirit, which is in you, is going to transform you from a pessimistic, half empty person to I trust and hope. And by the way, I expect that, yeah, I'm in right. trouble, but but God's going to give me a thing. And how does, how does he do that? He has you experience it. Right. And you start to realize, oh, look how cool this is. And your heart mm-hmm. truly changes that you're not managing it. You are actually having you're a change. Transformed. You're having a changed nature. That's mm-hmm. that when trouble comes, you don't go to, you don't tank. Mm-hmm. You go, well, I've learned I can go to God. I used to. Right. I used to, I used to have this pattern, but now I have a new pattern. I have a new life. And this is the beauty of, of God's life. Uh, is I want to take these things and what give you freedom to joy of what I am. I'll do the work. Mm-hmm. You come with me and I'll transform you. Um, and then, it, and by the way, it goes on. He says, I'm going to crown you with loving kindness. By the way, the word there is covenant loyalty. Yes. I, I'm going to be loyal, loyal to the covenant. Um, and I'm going to give you tender mercy and I'm going to mm-hmm. be, lo- I'm going to deliver to you the covenant. And then I'm going to satisfy your mouth and it basically satisfy your life with good things, with goodness, mm-hmm. so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And, and an eagle soars, is free. Mm-hmm. And he says, even though you're older physically, your heart will become youthful, excited, uh, soaring, free with the fact that I'm going to deliver this to you. Don't forget, he said, right? David said, don't forget these benefits. <laughs> This is a big deal. It's yeah. remembering who yeah. God is and yeah. what he has done and is continuing to do. Yeah. 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 So when I, when I uh, come across people like you discussed, yeah, but I, I tend to be a pessimist and things don't work too well for me. I said, mm-hmm. I understand. Um, that's okay. Uh, would you be willing to let me help you walk into a transformed heart? Right. That goes from being a pessimist, not, and I'm not even talking optimist. Eh, it doesn't matter. No, I'm not talking about that. Right. I'm talking about someone who says, I got trouble. This, right. could, this could be difficult. But Father, what do you say? Because you mm-hmm. said you're going to deliver me the covenant. And I don't know how. And I'm not going to just say, oh, it'll be fine. No. It's truly learning to walk in faith and surrender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to go from pessimistic mm-hmm. to hope. Because yes. of who I'm walking with, yeah, um, yeah, I can't do it, but he can. I mean, so it's it's a beautiful uh, truth. I'm really glad you brought that up because um, when people think covenant, they tend to think physical things. Mm-hmm. And you're you're saying, wait a minute, and we're going to go into this even further. Is it's a heart stuff? Yes, uh, it's transformation. You, you're stuck with uh, with an addiction, or you're stuck with a pattern. God says, well, let me heal that. And that's part of the covenant, you know, so it's, it's really beautiful. So we'll, we'll pick this up uh, next week. We're going to have a really interesting time uh, th- uh, discussion on end times Friday uh, as the world gets crazier and crazier. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, tomorrow we have uh, uh, Chris and Jacqueline Hoover uh, out of California who uh, have a great story about, <laughs> about uh, adoption of kids and uh, they'll be able to Oh, talk, can't you, wait to hear it all. You, can't you talk, wait to hear you, it. You talk about God's supernatural work. Uh, it was it was really remarkable, and they and they experienced the covenant and are experiencing the covenant. So it'll be fun to talk to them. So Excellent. Looking forward to it. We'll uh, pick it up again. Uh, we got more to go on on this issue of goodness, uh, but uh, uh, remember, uh, it's not about you trying to act like okay, it'll be fine. It'll be. I I tend not to do that. He said that's okay. Let me transform you uh, and re- and show how I can take your pattern right. to to trust and hope and excitement. And it doesn't mer- matter where you start. Right. Yeah. It's all about taking his hand and walking with him yeah. and he'll take you there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see you again tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, we'll see you then. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Come and See, your podcast for truth in a world of chaos. Brought to you by All for Jesus Living Waters Ministry. Send us your questions and comments and tune in tomorrow for more answers to your personal questions about living life in God's truth. Remember, God's will is best and none better. His truth brings peace in this world of chaos. Thank you.